subscribe click on the bell like comment share police department needs help on a case of a young woman who was found brutally murdered in her apartment the police have to obtain evidence to prosecute the murderer while doing the investigation at the crime scene they found a white powder on the woman's coat and took some for sample eddie is one of the top chemists in town was brought in to help them to identify the sample how does eddie do it in the lab eddie is ready to perform a qualitative analysis with the sample collected from the crime scene the first thing eddie did was to observe the color of that solid sample he took a bit of the sample and tested its solubility then he added a chemical reagent to see whether it precipitates. Eddie carried out a series of confirmatory tests to identify the ions present in the sample. The series of tests done by Eddie gave conclusive identify of the sample. Eddie's qualitative analysis has helped the police in the murder case. Qualitative analysis of a salt is a chemical technique used to identify the ions present in a salt by analyzing its physical and chemical properties and hence determine the identity of the salt. A preliminary examination of the appearance and color of an unknown substance often gives some clues to the identity of the chemical or the element present in the substance. Group 1, 2, and 3 metals form white salts and colorless metal ions in solution. On the other hand, compounds of transition metals and solutions containing transition metal ions have characteristic colors. Let's test your knowledge on the color of the salts. These are the general color of these salts. Generally, sodium, magnesium, calcium, aluminium, plumbum, zinc and ammonium salts are white. Iron 2 salts are green. Iron 3 salts are brown. Copper 2 salts are blue. All nitrate salts are soluble in water. Most sulfate salts are soluble except barium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and lead sulfate. Most carbonate salts are insoluble except sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, and ammonium carbonate. Most chlorides are soluble in water except silver chloride and lead 2 chloride. Click on any of the boxes to identify the salts. Could you predict the identity of the salts based on its color and solubility? At the end of this lesson, you have learned Qualitative analysis of a salt is a chemical technique used to identify the ions present in a salt by analyzing its physical and chemical properties and hence determine the identity of the salt. Group 1, 2 and 3 metals form white salts and colorless metal ions in solution. On the other hand, Compounds of transition metals and solutions containing transition metal ions have characteristic colors. Whether a salt is soluble or insoluble in water will give us the clue to the type of anion present in the salt sample.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.